Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. President Vladimir Putin at a regular defense meeting has said that Russian air forces will take deliveries of more 76 of the Sukhoi Su-57 fifth generation jet which will be contacted soon by 2028. New contract for 76 jets will argument initial order for 16 such jets placed by Russian Air Force earlier. Manufacturer of the Su-57 reportedly has offered both the aircraft and equipment at a reduced price of 20% and is promising further reduction for export customers like India and China with whom Sukhoi company officials have engaged in the past for possible purchase. Sukhoi company, JSE, is developing Su-57E which is an export model for countries like India, China and to other international customers who usually buy Russian weapons. The Su-57 he could be officially unveiled at the Dubai Air Show in November 2019. I have had a requirement for 114 units of jets but since it will be now off the shelf purchase, Russians have proposed India to procure at least 60 jets in the government to government deal and same has been asked from China as per local media, after Russia agreed to procure 76 additional jets over 16 already ordered. IAF likely will again ask for a complete evaluation of Su-57E when it is ready, this time Russia will agree to let IAF pilots fly Su-57E jets so that a deal can be concluded. While the price of export is yet to be disclosed but it is believed it will be in the range of $110-120 millions per unit for a flyaway unit. The Indian Navy on Thursday conducted significant missile tests boosting its anti-air warfare capabilities. The first cooperative engagement firing of the medium-range surface-to-air missile, MRSM, or Barak-8 was held on the western seaboard. The missiles were fired from Indian naval ships Kachi and Chennai engaging multiple aerial targets at extended ranges. The firing trials were carried out by Indian Navy, Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, and the Israel Aerospace Industries, EAI. Navy officials said the MRSOMs are fitted on board the Kolkata class destroyers. These would also be fitted on all future major warships of the Indian Navy. The MRSOM will be capable of operating at extreme condition of 30 degrees and an altitude of 3.5 km. The weapon system can operate on standalone mode or joint targeting mode using network centric modes. Built jointly by Hyderabad based DRDO Lab Defense Research and Development Laboratory, DRDL, and EAI, the missile has been manufactured by Bharat Dynamics Limited. A deadly combination of BrahMos missiles penetrating behind the enemy lines at a speed of over 3,000 km per hour, launched from a platform of Sukhoi Su-30 MKI which flies at a speed of over 2,100 km per hour, would enable the Indian Air Force to carry out Balakot-like anti-terror operations, while staying at least 150 km within Indian territory, as per an analysis in Business Today. The IAF is steadfastly the fitting of BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles to its Sukhoi-30 MKI air superiority fighters. BrahMos missiles have an operational range between 300 to 400 km and are undergoing a range augmentation program that seeks to increase the striking radius by 150 km. Such an exponential enhancement in capacity would make it all the more possible for a BrahMos-A releasing from the IAF to strike the terror facility in Bahawalpur hardly a task of 60 seconds. ISRO Chairman Dr. Keshavan said there will be space shuttle and space in the near future similar to the one being run by the NASA and they had conducted the RLVTD experiment two years ago. He also said Adidea 1 mission has now been revised to Adidea L1 mission and will be inserted in a halo orbit around the L1, which is 1.5 million km from the Earth. At an interaction session on Friday with 108 young scientists across the country during UVICA 2019 as part of Jivage and Jaya Nusenden program, he said still there is no clarity on possibilities for existence in space and budding scientists have to explore such issues in the future after becoming scientists.
The lack of hard evidence of the Indian Air Force shooting down a Pakistan Air Force F-16 or the lack of any evidence of Pakistan shooting down an IAF Sukhoi-30 Mki fighter hasn't prevented the air forces of either side producing squadron patches to reinforce their respective versions of the truth. The latest addition to the patch war between the air forces of both sides appears to be China, referred to by Islamabad as Pakistan's all-weather friend. A squadron patch available on eBay, the online shopping site, shows a Chinese-built JF-17 Thunderfighter with the slogan JF-17, MiG Killer. This is a reference to the shoot-down of IAF Wing Commander Abhinand and Varthaman's MiG-21 Bison by the Pakistan Air Force on February 27, a day after the Indian Air Force struck a Jaishi Mohammed terror training facility in Balakot, deep inside Pakistan. के लिए इतना ही अगर इस वीडियो को लेकर आपका कोई सुझाव या सजेशन हो तो उसे कमेंट सेक्शन में शेयर जरूर करें अगर आपने इस वीडियो को लाइक और शेयर नहीं किया है तो इसे लाइक और शेयर करें और चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलें